once again. <laughs> Giving the very best is the topic for tonight. It's a powerful topic, and you will see it's also a godly topic and a godly, a godly principle. Maybe you like or you love the Valentine's Day. Then you have the chance to give someone flowers. My wife often say, no, don't do that. Give me, give me, uh, give me more than one, once a year a flower. Give me 365 times a flower. <laughs> That's an attitude, giving the best. So that means I am ready to give every day my best. I'm not sure if you are ready for this topic, because some of you maybe have a, they say, hmm, it's a little bit too much giving the best because it has more to do with perfectionism. But giving the best, giving the best is an attitude of our church. When we started the church three and a half years ago, we started with that what we had. So it was not much. A few days ago, I don't know if, if you recognize that or you realize that we have a new home page. We have not only one new home page, we have three new home pages. And the good thing about this is behind this home page is a story. His name is Frank. Frank came here 40 months ago with his family. He was, he was invited by someone. And he said, I want to join this church once. He was religious. He was a little bit interested, but not more. And then he, he heard the message. He, he, he heard the songs, songs and he sang with, along with the song. And he said, I have never experienced that. And then he committed his life to Jesus. And the whole family came into this church. And he started to, to be a volunteer. And in the last few months... He programmed, uh, programmed everything and he did everything for these three new homepages. Isn't that good? That's wonderful. He was here this morning and I said, hey, you are such a great guy. Thank you so much. You understood the principle that we have in this church. You know, quality is when the customer comes back and not the product. That's quality. Not, not the products comes back. The customer. When you like to come back and again and again and again and again. When you are attracted by something, then you want to be part of it. And quality is a style of our church. Quality, I wrote a, quo a quote. I wrote a quote. I, no. <laughs> I read a quote. I wrote a quote. That's also good. <laughs> quality is not, no accident. It includes intelligence and the will to make things better. I really like the worship leaders here in Stuttgart. What they are actually do, since I'm not sure, since two years. What they do, they record every single Sunday, they record their songs. And what they do in the meantime, when they listen to the song, they discuss to each other, how can we make it better? And that's a, an attitude of improving. And I really like that. And for every single team in this church, I'm really thrilled about that, this uh, mentality. Become, becoming better, becoming better, becoming better. I want to be better. I want to give you the first principle for tonight. God always gives his best. God is God, right? He is perfect, 100% perfect. Nobody is better than him. God is God. And he is 100%. And God is the highest quality ever seen in the whole universe. And God is not only the best. He gives also his best. I want to give you uh, some evidences. In 1 Corinthians 2, 9 it's written, No eyes has seen, no ear has heard heard, no mind has known what God has prepared for those who love him. You know, what does he do? Actually, in the same time as, as, we, are, as we are sitting here, he's preparing the new world. And one day, we will be part of this big event 
when he's standing in front of us and he's saying, hey, whoa, what's going on now? I want to see something. I want to show you something, what you have never seen before. I want to, I want to give you an example. And then he, the curtain falls down and whoa, and we see that. You know, my, my son, Jonathan, likes the Apple products. And what he's doing, actually, is earning money that he can be, that he can join the event, developing a conference at uh, at Apple in in the, in San Francisco. So he, he's he's earning money for that reason that he can fly to San Francisco and be the first that he is that he can be part of. And I I really like that because he has a goal, and I know for one time. We will be at this event in heaven. And the keynote speaker is not the CEO from Apple. It's Jesus Christ himself. And he wants to introduce us to the new world. Especially created for you, for every one of you. When you believe that Jesus is your savior. And when we see this world already, this world is fantastic. When you see that, I've never known that, we... we actually have in this world 350,000 sp uh, species of beetles. You know that? Not 350,000 beetles. Species. Or species, I don't know the name. Yeah, species? Species. Or 180,000 species of butterflies. Not 100,000. 180,000 Species, or kind of. Or, you see the jumping tiger here? If I... <laughs> huh? What's going on? Okay, I'm too late. It's not happening that often that I'm late. The, 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 the tiger is fantastic. If I would be God, so I would say, I take one color, that's enough. Where? One color is enough. But God made it in these different colors, and it's wonderful shape. His, this color combination is fantastic. No? Very creative. We re read in the Bible, God saw everything he had made, and it was very good. There was an evening, and there was a morning. It was day six. It was really very, very good. So, at the end of the day six... When he drank his beer, <laughs> then he saw that, wow, that is really very powerful. The creation is, wow, is wonderful. You know, we have not an average God. We have not an average quality God. We have a, a God who gives his best for the whole mankind. That's fantastic. You know, he, he, he created monkeys. They are like, like human, but they are not. Have too much hair, they, they are walking on four uh, uh, feet, but they are not men, they are only like. And the best thing what God did for us, we read in the Bible, for God so loved the world that he gave his only and only, his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. It was his gift to the mankind. It was his gift to you. He didn't send an angel. He didn't send, send money from heaven. He sent his only and one son, especially for you. It all shows me, that's all is an evidence of that, that God loves you so much. When you believe that personally, you will be saved. You will have eternal life. That's the good thing. Everything what God shaped in the past, everything what God shapes right now through the Holy Spirit for you, and everything what God will shape in future, especially for you, is shaped in the highest quality because He loves you and also me. <laughs> and the second thing what I want to say to you, the best of us belongs to God. Because 
we are uh, we are like him we are an image of him so god gives his best he is the best and the best of us belongs to god you don't have to learn or to teach a Jew to give the best because they have a long culture or had a long culture of sacrificing even when they were young they already learned killing animals and give the best the very best to god there are four different um, types of sacrifices, and if you think, distinguish it, there is one sacrifice for the high priest, because when the high priest sins, he has to bring a sacrifice, and everyone sees it. He has to bring the sacrifice. And the second one is, the whole community has to bring sacrifice once a year, so that God is in a good mood. <laughs> And the third thing, or the, the third group, are the prince. They have to bring more because they had more. The prince, the sacrifice of the prince or of the rich man. And there is also a sacrifice for each person. So if a simple or a poor Israelite sinned and he hadn't, didn't have money, he had to sacrifice a turtle, dove, or a pigeon. Or pigeons. You know, it has a long story, a long history behind that. Over centuries, they had to sacrifice. You know, I don't know if you really know what is the best that you can give. Is it your time? Is it your money? Is it your emotions to God? Because Jesus said the highest or the biggest commandment is to love God with the whole heart. Not only a little, not only small, with a big heart. You know, I was in, in Turkey two weeks ago. And then uh, I celebrated, or we celebrated, the, the, the birthday of uh, Leo Pica, our f the founder of the ISIF movement. And um, in the early morning, two guys from Germany attended also the, the, the party, and <laughs> they couldn't believe that we are pastors. It's not why we drank too much, but we were really very easy, and we talked a lot, and we laughed a lot. And, and then they, they, they asked us, why do you do what you do? And we got into a, in a, a really deep discussion. And one guy, guy say, is, is, uh, said to me, he is 23, and he said, I'm often traveling all over the world. I can promise you then, I have a lot of women in every country. I have maybe a dozen, or dozens. And I can sleep with every woman because uh, I'm here uh, for work, or I have to work in, in different uh, countries, and I can do what I, whatever I want to do. And I ask him, are you happy with that? Because you have a lot of women, you can drunk as much as you want. And he said, no, not at all. My deepest desire is to have one woman, to have a family, but I don't know how I can really love a woman. And then I talked about God, I talked about being fulfilled from inwardly. And there was another guy, he was 17, and he told me that he has, no, he has never had a father. And he's really searching for his pure love of a heavenly heaven father. And it was already very early in the morning. <laughs> When I looked at my watch, I saw it's 4 o'clock in the morning, and finally I got to sleep, I got to bed, 5.15. But I knew I have to give my best in the morning, because there were two young guys, and also a friend of mine from ISIF singing, we talked with them, because... Now it was the time to, to say that. You know, sometimes you have to give the best, the best is your time, because God belongs your time, your best time too, your best energy. 
it's not only written in the Old Testament, also in the New Testament. When we uh, read this verse from the Romans 12, Paul says, Brothers and sisters, God has shown you his mercy. So I am asking you to offer your bodies to him while you are still alive. Your bodies are holy sacrifice that is pleasing to God. When you offer your bodies to God, you are worshiping him. So your, my body is everything. It also includes my time. It includes my emotion, my everything. I want to sacrifice him. My life as an offering for him. Not only my money, everything. You know, sometimes we are, as Christians, we are already satisfied when, it's, when the quality is not that good. You know, we have a lot of excuses for that. Uh, because I give my best, even though it is not the best. A few uh, weeks ago, my wife came into the office from IC Stuttgart, and um, she was working with us. And in the evening, she talked with me, and she said, Dan, I have to say you a few things. The kind you work, it's horrible. The kind of work, how you work with your team, it's horrible because everyone can do what they want to do. They, they are in Facebook in the same times. So they should work. They discuss and, uh, whatever they want to discuss. It's a big atmosphere. It, it's, it's a big party. But you, don't have, you have also have to bring results. I am working in a, in a, in a, uh, at a, at a um, um, what's this? this? Um, at a hospital, it's like a, uh, for a doctor. It's a, a, st a special station, and they have they have to to be very 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 eager to to bring the best quality. And then she said, "You are thinking you are working in God's kingdom, and it's not worth to give your very best." And then my children are coming, and I I turned into. I don't know what's happening now. Then my children are coming. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm so excited about your office. Because I want to be employed by you. Because you have a big atmosphere. And you don't have to work a lot. <laughs> you work less than we in school. Even though you, give, you don't give me a salary, I will be part of it. I want to be part of it. Because it's always party around you. And then I recognized something. I have to change something. When I started here in Stuttgart, I was always upset. I took photos and said, no, not this way. You have to bring this mess into an order. <laughs> and after a while, I've overtaken the culture. You know? So now we have a lot, we have a lot of chaos. But now we are in the change move and maybe you have to bring your life into a new order when you feel like your life is a little bit messy and God can bring you into a into good order because giving the best is a good thing giving the best is high quality high quality always attracts you love when someone cares about you in high quality you like to have a high quality room right you love to to have a high quality message right you love to have a high quality performance of the worshiper but how about you do you love to bring high quality too because our life is a sacrifice Read that. And uh, when I flew back from Turkey, God said to me, you have to invite some guys because you really have a problem with money in church. Because I have to, 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 uh, to bring together 190,000 euro. And that's a lot. And the Holy Spirit is whispering to me, hey, you have to write five persons. I wrote five persons. It was a little bit 
embarrassing for me because writing, and to be honest, it was like you have to confess that uh, you need money. It's always a little bit embarrassing. And then I wrote to my friends to Switzerland, can you give me money because we have to, to take a new step? And it's really important for the history of ICF and for the kingdom's history. And I wrote them and one guy wrote me back after five minutes and he said, I, I was, well, want to think about it. And I have to talk with my wife. And I thought, oh, okay, I have to think about it. That's not what I need. I need action now, yeah? I really need money now. And Monday morning, I got an email this week. And he said, I want to donate 33,000 euro right now. And every month, I want to give you 600 euro every month for the next 100 years. You know, this man is a friend of mine, yes. He has 450,000 employees. Uh, 450 employees. <laughs> um, but his lifestyle is really very... He's, he's, not, he's, not, he's not a luxury at all. And, and I see it. Wow, someone gives his best. That's fantastic. Giving the best attracts. And that leads me to this last point. Giving the best can be your lifestyle. Giving the best means give the best with that what you actually have. What you actually have. You don't, you don't have to be very talented. You don't have to have a lot of money to give the best. Right now, you can give the best. I want to show you an example. I was in, in Paris, and then I saw someone which gave me a principle of giving the best, or it was like a message for me from heaven. Do you know, do you guess what I wanted to say with that? It's not a, a drum set. You can, you can uh, buy a drum set for 2,000 euro or more, or you can, you can do your, or build your own drum set with about, uh, I don't know, 50 euros. Giving the best means what you actually have, put it into, into the, put, bring it to God. Maybe it's your money, maybe it's your time, maybe it's your, 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 your emotions. I don't know what you can bring, but you have to bring something. You don't have to go to Paris with your family that they are satisfied. No, not at all. You can go into the forest and uh, make a, a fire or, fi or go to the fireplace. And you have a lot of fun. You know, when you go to bed in the evenings... Can you really say, I gave my very best to God? Because when you gave your best, you're feeling better. When you have time for, when you waste your time on Facebook, for example, two hours a day, it's really too much. Because you, you lose time. It's your lifetime. You can't hold time. It's... It's lost, yeah? 
So I, 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 I made a promise when I prepared this message. I said to God, God, I want to use my life in a much more powerful way than I did it in the past. And I don't want to waste time anymore. I only want to give my very best. Because you have a good feeling at the end of the day. You have a good feeling when you, when you encounter people, when you, when you are around people, because you gave your very best, you know. Do you understand me? Giving the best is a principle of God. In the Proverbs, it's written, a person who takes care, good care of a fig tree will eat its fruit. And a person who looks after his master will be honored. A person who takes good care of a fig tree can eat the fruit. Maybe your fig, fig tree is your, is your job, your, your, your husband, your, your spouse. You have to care about that. You have to care about your friends. You have to care about your future. That's maybe your fig tree. That you say, whoa, if you invest into that, you will one day eat its fruit. That's fantastic. You know, Martin Luther King said, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he should sweep streets even as Michelangelo painted or Beethoven composed music or Shakespeare wrote poetry. He should sweep streets so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth will pause to say, he lived a great street sweeper who did his job well. That's attitude of God. That's fantastic. Do you want to be a guy who gives his best? A person who gives his best? You know Le Leonard Bernstein? Do you know Leonard Bernstein? He once was asked, he's a fantastic composer, and uh, was, actually. <laughs> And he was a fantastic uh, conductor too. And he once was asked, what do you think, what is the most difficult instrument to play? And he said, without singing, the second violin. You get a lot of first violin, but not second violin. Nobody wants to play the second violin. Because it's not that attractive. But when we read the passages from Romans 12, that we are like a body, someone is the foot, someone is the head, someone is the arm and the finger or whatever. It's like we are a big orchestra. And someone has to play also the second violin. And if you want to be really strong in your purpose of life, then give your best in every whatever you play in the big orchestra of God. And God sees it, I promise you. I long time played the second violin. And sometimes I still playing the second or the third violin. But I want to bring the kingdom of God forward. And with this attitude, we can bring the kingdom of God forward. When we are standing, for example, we are standing together for the grand openings for these two new locations for my sister God. It's not maybe not our first interest to do that, but we are eager to do that because we want to support the kingdom of God. That's why I want to invite you. Whatever you do, do it in a manner of giving the best. Because we value quality, good quality. Colossians 3 is written, work at everything you do with all your heart. Work as if you were working for the Lord, not for human masters. Even though you have bad master, give your very best. Because God sees your attitude behind it. 
it's very easy to follow someone who is always in a good mood and whoa, a big atmosphere always. But when he confronts you with something that you are not agree with, then it's, it's challenging. But even though, give the best. And I want to give you the chance to think about are you still in an average mentality or are you are you in the mentality that you want to give the best, that you want to perform in a good quality for God? You give your very best with your life, with your job, with your everything. Then you invest into your family and your relationships again. And you are ready to give your best time for your kids and for your spouse. And you are ready that you give your best time for your kingdom. So that everything improves. Amen.